The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Please note, the new number is... No one has been able to stop the Mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. All right, I'm trying this again. I just want to see how much farther the demo goes. All right, I got the key card. Don't trust anything. You stay right there. Here are the results from today's personality test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results. This isn't the first time. I'll let Alex know. The most recent test is pasted below for reference. Planning a new vacation? Go somewhere familiar. Is it somewhere new? Been sentenced to death calm. It was worth it. Hey, these are... Do nothing, do nothing. Push the fat man. Those are the those are the um, the choices that I did during the test. Sill, yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know, I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse with the psychotronics staff. I'm talking to Kel Ketchup about mitigating some of the stress there, but I'm concerned that. These are not isolated incidents. Going to mention it to Alex in the next director's meeting. Matthias Cole. You got a cool sounding name. Oh, is that, can I read a note I can? Stand it on the desk, okay. All right, now I know one of them things is that thing. I wonder if I can just get past it without it attacking me. Surprise! No, nope. no. Nope. All right. Let me out. Okay, there's another one in here. Some. Ooh, what is that? What are you? That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. Okay. But I gotta read stuff. Noetic research, like all bold new ideas, has undergone a predictable pattern in the scientific community. First, skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics grudgingly concede the idea it might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. Cheeky bastards. All right. Something. Ooh, what's, what's going on here? What's going on? I don't. All right, I'll just ignore you for now. This is just a demo. Nothing in there. Can I get here? No, is that not where I need to be? Crap. Come at me, bro. Oh, goodness. Ha! A little freakier, a little freakier. Let's see what we got going on here. Glue cannon. Mm. Okay, the glue cannon. The Transtar glue cannon. Jelliform lattice organism obstructor. You were really reaching for that acronym. Disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. 
When hardened, the glue can also be used as a climbable platform. You glue the chicken to the salmon! Aliens. All right, now I got a glue gun. I guess it all looks like that. Okay, there's a dead person up there too. There's lots of you little buggers. I don't know the code. I didn't see any code. Do you have a code? Take med kit. Glue canister. Take. All right, let's uh, let's move on here and see us. Uh... Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Well, this does nothing. Does nothing. Can you use my health pack? How do I use my health pack? There we go. It didn't give me much. I'm gonna die again. Neuromod. Okay. Okay, so this is a uh, skill trees and stuff. Yes, increase my health. That's what I want. All right, so it's getting kind of uh, 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 bright in the eye. Supposed to leave that in for five minutes? I'm sure there are many Transtar personnel who wish they had stronger, faster bodies at the moment. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Yes, let's. Loading. <sighs> Hearing noises and getting kind of, kind of spooked. So of course, I'm playing these at night, alone. I mean, the cat's here. Always trying to take my food. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The loading screen is scarier than anything. The sparkling drink suggests dandy. The chocolate bars and the candies. How long is this demo? So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a yeah. Alright, here we go. More dead people. Neuromod. Right. You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? All right, bring it on. Whoa. We're in space. I'm in space. Whoa. Nothing attacked me right now. I want to look at it. This. Nice. 
So something just blew out on that side of the are we on a station. Ooh, okay. Ooh. This person was killed differently. They were they weren't killed by the aliens. They're probably shot. Hello? Anybody home? Oh Phantom, I did not need to run into one of you guys. was my bad. I didn't think that was going to happen. So uh, let's uh, let's try that again. And this time not blow myself up. Alright, come on Phantom. Okay, At that time he blew me up. Need to stay away from that stuff. Bring it on, Phantom! Take that. Yeah, let's take a uh, neuromod. Yeah, let's not. Okay, so that's what the station looks like. That's pretty dope. Goliath. All right, let's go. Anything? Ooh, something to read. Evacuation. Day one. I had dropped my dog at the groomer. Her name was Eliza. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get some cafe bots near the park. Some jets flew over, very low, and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were. I don't know where they were from, but they were bristling with bombs and rockets. Everyone was looking up, at the, and the sound of the jets was echoing off the buildings. We could not see them anymore. But we can... Okay, I can... I don't see any commas. Between it. The sky was clear, and I could see pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium. Then the sirens started. I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people stood confused, but my instinct told me to run. Run away from the stadium. Run away from Eliza. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It was not military, I am certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched... It turned into it turned into glitter without a sound. 
it was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. Med kit. 1963. Oh. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, okay. known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. So this is an alternate reality where Kennedy wasn't assassinated. He said attempted assassination, so it didn't happen. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Popeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic this enhancement all Elon, to the Elon human Musk's mind idea. and body. 2025. The trans-2030. Right, yep. See, look at that. In memory of John F. Kennedy, 1917 to 2031. Wow. Lived a long time. That's over a hundred years. Something's going on. Stay away from that stuff. Surprise, They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Carry you with me. Can you be my new torch. Test subject. I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Wink. Listen. If the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this also. If the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. Alright, so this is from me. So apparently I was comfortable enough with Sylvain to wink. Wink. Dakota. Offices 0451. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 0451. This has been your home.
home for the last three years. Excuse me. The video should be on your workstation. I want to read the books. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and without his support may have been sputtered completely. A succession of moon launches heralded the coming of an accelerated energetic space program both within the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term, Rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the United States seemed to be reaching out to space together. Baseball glove. More neuromods. All right, inner password. F paradox. Email. You made it. I still don't know what happened. I've put it behind me. There's no reason we can't still be civil. You passed me in the hall today and you looked through me. And you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me. And we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together. Mika. Do not disturb. <clears throat> Jason Chang. Morgan, as requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew quarters and the supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they get you all right, if they get to you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office. Jason. Ooh. Sticky note. Good morning, Morgan. Morning Morgan. Morning Morgan. Morning Morgan. Morning Morgan. I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe, Jason. A key card. Okay. Recycler open. Oh, okay. So that's like I could put stuff in. Let's just get all kinds all kinds of stuff. All the things. Flowers, all the things. What are the? I don't know what these are. New key card. Get all the things. Health, yes, I need that. I should have just gone ahead and used it. Let's use it now. All kinds of stuff in here. Fabricator. Apple, let's eat it. Aw, oh, man. What a lovely family photo. Look. They must be mom and dad. Lovely people. Uh. Needs a mirror. Hey, is that metal? Watch me, Morgan. Are you sure this isn't some kind of spam? Hello, Morgan. This is LGV. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. Are you sure this isn't... Something I shouldn't be watching at work? Hmm? What? Oh! I need one of those. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. Okay. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. Okay. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? Aliens. You're not gonna like what I have to say next. Okay. 
Ah. Of course. Of course. to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Right. I'm just gonna sit tight. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. Okay. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Good morning, Talos. Okay. As a reminder, all personnel must Through a glass darkly. <laughs> ...during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. Debris promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. All right, you go this way. Yes, unlock. Surprise! Ah! So who's the monster now? Hello? Come out, come out wherever you are. Function. Nice drafting table. Okay. Okay, so I guess this is the end of the demo. I can't go any farther. Let's see. Not accessible during trial. Okay. So, actually this is a pretty neat, neat game. Uh, since I got all this stuff, I think I might just run around and see if I can find some more of those things to kill for a bit. Ooh. Okay. Hello. Another one of you guys. Sales to be. Most of these things they lose a whole lot of the fear element once they give you a gun. Okay. That thing moved though. That's Yuri? Oh man. 
Baseball glove. Why am I taking baseball? The space elevator. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator. The White Stork Tower. Is that Stork or Stark? Yeah, Stork. Has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities and commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch up. The World Union of Space Industry, WUSI, has calculated that using Stork facility to aid in construction of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, U.S. officials have balked out of the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that the sizable investment risks for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, Rossi has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for future space elevators, essentially space age squatting. Is that, I don't need you. In this edition of Transstar Life's Rising Star segment, we profile Harley Granger, a member of the Neuromod sail team who is currently stationed aboard Talos 1. Some of you might recognize Harley's name from his professional baseball days when he played second base and wore number 66 for the Tornadoes. Harley was assigned to Talos 1 two years ago and has made the journey into orbit and back over 50 times. Not bad for someone who's afraid of flying. My time playing baseball forced me to deal with that fear, he said. Believe it or not, a shuttle flight to Talos 1 is far easier than a cross-country airliner trip. Okay, let's keep on uh, looking around here. Anything of interest? Anything at all? Emails. Exports. You can't ship it home. It's already been noticed. One month pay makes it go away. Okay. Sales folder. I don't think we have to worry too much about the side effects. From what I gathered, it's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? I mean, it looks scary, but I think if we can get advertising to push some of the more appealing pros of Neuromods, we can shift public attention from that. I'm not too worried about the red eye stuff either. I don't think any one person in the public sector is going to manage to get their hands on that many Neuromods at one time. Not at these prices. What I find more worrying, though, are these reports of memory loss during Neuromod removal. I mean, amnesia? Seriously? Can we rewire a person's brain, give them any skill we want, but we can't avoid resetting their head back to the moment they got that installed if we decide to take it out? If this leaks, I'll ki it'll kill Neuromod sales. Doesn't matter if you need specialized equipment and training to take one out. No one wants to risk losing years of their life for the ability to speak French. This can't even go in the fine print. As far as the customer is concerned, Neuromods are permanent. Shady dealings. Shady dealings. Chunked his globe. Oh, where are you? I'm out of ammo. Bring it on. Come at me. All right, well, this has been fun. I'm going to end it here. So. What do y'all think of Prey? If y'all played the full game, if y'all just played the demo, is, do you find it scary? I thought I was going to find it scary. I mean, it's, it's a little nerve-wracking when those things jump at you, but it's not really scary. Oh, well, I'll just sit here. Until next time, I've been the Random Ninja 5, so be on the listen, and be on the lookout for another Random Ninja attack. Have dialed has been changed. The new number is. Please note the new number is. Alias.